hi everyone in last video we have seen that how to send a direct message to an instagram user and we also learned how to get an event notification when someone is sending us a instagram message so in today's topic we are going to cover that how to read those messages with this instagram api with instagram login so if you are new to this video you can refer part 7 to set up your resources and only you can get this access token and you can use these apis so as i mentioned today we are going to learn about how to get a list of conversations in instagram business or creators account and we will learn how to get messages within those conversations right so basically we are going to cover this conversations api in this instagram api with instagram login page and let's get started here you can see all endpoints can be accessible via graph.instagram.com and uh, the endpoint for conversations is your instagram business account slash conversations or me slash conversations and we are going to use this only in this video and you need these app permissions but uh, in my setup resources part i already added both the permissions so you don't have to take care about anything else so how to get this list of conversations right to get this we need to send a get request to this endpoint that is me slash conversation which is simply a get request and in parameters we need to define like i need messages from instagram platform right and then your access token so by this api you will get this conversations ids and the updated time and then what you need to do then you have to use that conversation id to get the messages within those conversations right and for that the endpoint is the base url and your conversation id and what you want to get returned that is messages so instead of like getting first the conversation ids and then get the messages ids and then get the actual message text and the details what we are going to do we are going to use the edges on this conversations endpoint right so let's see what i mean by that is first of all we need to read the access token like I already saved my access token in this JSON file. So instead of like generating access token again and again, I am using this token because this can be lived up to 60 days, right? And as I mentioned, to get the conversations, we are going to use this endpoint which is me slash conversations and and how to get all these details within this single api call we are going to make a use of this facebook graph api's age method so let's see how to do that uh, in, in this first api if you see to get messages uh, we are defining this platform equal to instagram right so that i already added in query parameter and the second part is access token right so both are default for this conversation and now to get this messages sorry and now to get a list of messages the endpoint is conversation id and then fields equal to messages so instead of that what we are going to do we are adding all conversations fields here right you can see up to this and how how you can find that there is a another documentation of graph api and this one right 
here you can refer this conversation page and you can get all those details here right what is id messages participants and updated time so that i added from that and here when your conversation and point is returning message ids you are calling again another api which is message id and base url right and then this fills of this message id and you can how you can get those fields that is this message page yeah and here you can find the details regarding like message creation time from whom you are receiving the messages what is the message if there is any reaction on message if they have shared some images directly to you and all these details right so what we need to do we just need to add this messages age here and then the fill parameters in this curly brackets so if we run this you will receive the all the details so let me go to my instagram account first i have two conversations first and second right the this is the latest one which is created like 32 minutes this first and second right so let's see how api is returning the results here if you see we haven't added filter right so you will receive all the data within single api request and let's check that here you can see in data our first conversation is with this id right and you can see as we mentioned here fields in participants we are getting the information the conversation is going between my user id and other user id and what are the messages you can see the message data is written as well within this first conversation it is having creation time from message i only send a single message if we see here so that's why my first conversation ends here right so suppose your messages are very long so you can make a use of this next url uh, what you need to do is you just need to send a get request to this url and you will receive the history messages as well right but currently i only have one message so i can get it easily with this single call right and here i have added some emojis uh, but i am converting it to json that's why it is not visible but i will show you that as well on the second conversation which is going between my account the other account is code with you right if you see here and for example i have added uh, multiple messages i did some reactions as well i shared my instagram post i shared image from my local pc i added some links as well yeah and some emojis as well so let's see how it looks like in api so first of all as we see this is the participant details then the messages this is our recent message so that's why you can see that the same is here the second recent is with link you can see we are also getting this link in api response no. reactions like i made a reaction uh, you can see that detail as well with this reactions variable and who did this reaction yeah and what is the emoji of the reaction now the another link right 
you can see there as well it is like this fine now the part we is the local attachment right so you can get that with these attachments and here you can get these links for that as well i shared it, it with this local method which is add photos or videos but when it is sent uh, the facebook is creating a link and returning it in messages so if you click that you will get this image right now let's check this post uh, here you see uh, we shared it from our account and for that instagram is also returning this link so let's open that yep it's also working fine and yeah there is some reaction for this message as well so let me print that and show you like how emojis looks like if you see in our first conversation i added some emojis it's fine in in reactions you can see the emojis as well and the first reaction and the this one as well right yeah so yeah that's all for the video uh, this endpoint will like really help you to instead of looping over the requests and get your results right thanks for watching